Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 14-year-old male. They had injured themselves six months ago playing soccer. They have continued pain and worried about a lateral ligament tear, probably the, you know, the typical anterior talofibular ligament tear. So we look here on the lateral side, and we say, oh, yep, they got fluid out here in the anterior lateral gutter area, and we're looking for the anterior talofibular ligament just to confirm that it's torn. Everything makes sense. But instead, we say, wait a minute, there's a little linear band here comes off the fibula and goes to the uh, talus here. So this is the anterior talofibular ligament. It's not completely ruptured, and this uh, fluid out here is fairly prominent, more than you'd expect with an intact anterior talofibular ligament. Now, the calcaneofibular ligament is uh, more posterior. It's just a little linear band coming up underneath. These are the perineal tendons. There's a subtle linear band coming off the calcaneus down below, and it comes up obliquely to the bottom of the fibula here. You really can't see it very well in this view, but right there along the perineals, and that one's intact, but again, we have this fluid to contend with over here that um, is not um, completely related to that rupture, so there's more to the tail. So if we go up to the top, a little bit higher, to for high ankle sprain, we say, wait a minute, things look awful good up here, there's no widening up here, the interosseous membrane uh, between these two is intact, the anterior and posterior tibiofibular ligaments here and here are intact, so there's no high ankle sprain, and we come on down, again, we see that is intact, maybe partially torn or thickened from a prior sprain, so we keep on going down. As we go down, we see that the fluid comes here into this area, and this is the sinus tarsi. So there are ligaments in the sinus tarsi, and it looks like the fluid goes right through them, so it looks like there's an injury of the sinus tarsi. Often when you see brightness in here, it's just related to inflammation of the sinus tarsi. That can be associated with sinus tarsi syndrome when you have inflammation. This looks like maybe a tear with a history of prior trauma. We suspect that. So to look at the sinus tarsi, I usually look on a sagittal T1 uh, weighted image to see if there's any uh, a bright fat. And this is a coronal T1 image, um, and we see that the fat is not bright. Normally you should see bright fat in the sinus tarsi, a few little skinny ligaments, but normally it's just bright fat. But here you can see on this T1 coronal that the fat is obliterated. Instead it's just darkness. So right away you say, yep. Sinus tarsi is diffusely abnormal, and something's going on. So now we're going to go to sagittal T2 weighted sequence and look at the components of the sinus tarsi. And if we go towards the anterior part of the sinus tarsi, superficial, we see the first component. This is the anterior most component, superficial, called the inferior extensor retinaculum. It comes off here to the front, comes down to here. It's usually very thin and wispy, broad and I do not uh, see it super well in, in most people. It's very thin. I can kind of imagine it in here. I can see it up here okay, but I don't see it as well here. So it may be partially torn here, um, but that is something that is not really easy to see. And if we go to the next component here towards the central part, we see the ligament that comes off the anterior aspect of the calcaneus here, comes obliquely forward, and it goes to this cupped portion of the talus. This is called the cervical ligament. The cervical is named for the neck, the front here of the talus, the cervical portion. So this is the cervical ligament, and the cervical ligament comes off here, and right where it comes off, here you can see it stripped up a little bit from the calcaneus. If we go one more over, we see an area of fluid signal, so it looks like this is a tear through that cervical ligament, the base of it, and some of the fibers come up here and attach. So some of them are intact, but it looks like again it is just ripped or torn back here. Now we're going to go to the next component. This is more posterior. There's another component here that goes up to this little cupped area. Comes off the calcaneus and goes more vertical, obliquely, and this is called the talocalcaneal interosseous ligament. And that looks like it's attached here to the calcaneus, but if we follow it up, it seems to end right there. We have fluid signal at the um, in the, uh, the uh, Taylor attachment. So it looks like that talocalcaneal interosseous ligament is torn right there with fluid signal. So we have a rip which shredded right through the central portion of that involving the base of the cervical ligament and then it goes up here to the top of the talocalcaneal interosseous ligament and uh, an injury of the again, sinus tarsi ligaments, torn sinus tarsi ligaments. Pretty rare finding. There's one other thing you might notice here. This is called the sinus angle of the calcaneus. The calcaneus has this V, right? The apex of the V 
Uh, there's a little cystic erosion here. These are very common to see just incidentally when people are asymptomatic. Usually you mention them as an aside. In this case, though, it may be related to this sinus structure ligament uh, tear or injury. And that's it. So ruptured or uh, significant tear of the sinus structure ligament with lots of fluid and edema. And uh, that's it. So thank you very much.